Wait, who is that? Who are those people? Men in black? Get them aboard. We don't have much time. Your mission was interrupted by a catastrophic explosion that seems to have originated in originated in the Auburn Industrial District of Fairport. The extent of the damage is impossible to estimate. The fate of your team is a mystery. Like some of them are probably dead. Eyes are still dilating. He's reacting to the meds. Check the dosage. This shouldn't be happening. That doesn't work. What's going on, Dr. York? One moment. Hold the light again and check his pressure. Damn it. Grab the crash cart. Uh huh. Charge to two hundred. No, no, make that three hundred. I mean, I can see you. But we're moving too fast. We, we need to. That did it. Stand by with that morphine. Four mags. Where are we at, Doctor York? Let's tack a cart. We need to stabilize before progressing. There's no time. There's no time. He's unstable. Progressing uh. now would be a mistake. You're putting. Set to three. You'll feel it with a pinch. Why am I even awake for this? Really, they should have kept me in the sedation. But, eh. Wait, so they operated on me and then put the tactical gear back on. Why would they do that? Oh, you're alive! I can't answer. Someone's been reading on the bathroom. It wasn't me. I've been asleep for all that time. Let's see. Memo. M. Beckett. Recovery room. Uh, 102. Patient M. Beckett. Recovering from surgery at unprecedented rate. Vitals are nearly back to normal. Dr. York has been paged and should be here as soon as he's done with final activation surgery. If patient wakes up in the meantime, explain that he was med medevaced from the blast zone. Do not let patient leave room. Leave the room, thank you. I have problems talking and uh, even I know that. So, hello there. I'll be with you soon. Well then, that doesn't look real. Nothing of interest or value here. It's a ball that fell over. Okay. Hi there, who's that? Is that you, Oma? No problem. Uh, as I said, I'll be with you soon. Mm, central supply. Do you have a medkit? Of course you do. This is a hospital. Why wouldn't you have medkits here? Recovery room 104. You won't happen to have any guns just lying about? No, an intel. Info. First Sergeant Griffith. Cedric Griffith. Paragon review scores. Physical condition outstanding. Mental stability excellent. Telesthetic potential above average. Exemplary academic and military service record. Based on medical. mental. Sorry, let's restart. Based on mental fortitude, Sabi has a reasonable chance. I doesn't mean the 20-25 probability of enduring the actualization process without severe cognitive regression, noted in failed candidates. Harbing a status approved. Okay. So we are... What I can gather from all this, that are that we are um, some sort of super soldier... Well, candidates with some sort of thing where they take in... They, they basically learned from uh, the point map from the first game and fell and tried to make us have the same abilities as they have, like slowing down time and such. That is what I... Uh, that is what I suspect, anyway. Oh, 
Well, I know what went on. It... Did I miss something? Okay then. Oma, you have to you have to be a little bit more uh, clear where you want to show up. Okay, can't get into the can't get in there. No. Of course, they blocked the toilet. Yeah, that's all. Oh, there you are. Please don't force me to have to censor this video with blur and stuff. I mean, I don't have a problem with it. Well, YouTube do, thus, I don't. Well then. Recovery 06 then. See, this looks like a storage room. Uh, following the blood leads to. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah, another intro. Uh, Sergeant Jankowski. Red Jankowski, Sergeant. Uh, Paragon review scores. Physical condition, outstanding. Mental stability, average. Telesthetic potential, above average. Notes. Poor academic record and competent military career marred by occasional reprimands. Subic has first was first identified as a potential harboring candidate after elder brother Spencer was recruited for first encounter assault region active duty. Okay, so this is the brother of the other Jankowski. I don't expect that he'll become a viable telesthetic commander, but... Hmm? But he could be useful in a research capacity. Harboring a status. Reserve. Well, reserve, not reserve. Yeah, I think my uh, my theorizing is correct in this case. Oh, where is that coming from? Up there. Aha. Uh huh. Well then. Let's get around there first. I like exploring. Yeah, that that. I bet you we are on the ground somewhere, and uh, this is just some uh, a fake sky to make you believe you're outside. Surgical notes. Transcription: Doctor Samuel York. The first three activation surgeries appear to have been resounding success. The fourth patient, Reg Riankowski, is still in pre-op, but the others are recovering in separate wings to minimize pre-conscious telepathic interference with each other. Once they're fully awake and stable, we'll begin the attunement process. Michael Beckett, in particular, is providing uncom uncommonly resilient. We were sure we'd lost him twice in the table, but then he stabilized through no action of ours. I'm sure. Well, it's because I'm the main character in a video game. I can't just die in, in a cutscene like that. Cutscenes make you invincible. And... Oma. No? Oma? Oma. No? Okay. Let's see. Something in here? Ah yes, the bathroom, where everything terrible happens. Yeah, she was there. Well then. Solma, you still have uh, a terrible habit of killing people and just leaving bloody stains everywhere. Let's see. Check the news. From Jim Howard to Kelly S Saperstein. Check the news. Kelly, if you don't have to... Kelly, if you don't have any pattern patients in the lobby, turn the TV to 22 News. Explains the shaking we felt earlier. Guess we won't be going home anytime soon. I wonder if we'll be seeing any fallout from this. Probably shouldn't talk over email. Want to get dinner in the cafeteria on break? Page me when you're free. Jim. 
Sorry, Jim. Your dad. There is nothing anyone could have done. Well, I could have if I were here, but really, I can't really stop Alma. She just does whatever she wants to. What are you doing? Okay, good thing this is... No, I won't. Well, good thing that was the uh, patented bulletproof glass that exists in every single video game ever. It cannot be broken by anything. You're gonna die, aren't you? Sergeant Beckett. No. God you're okay. I'm sure you have a lot of questions. I'll explain everything later. Right now, we need to get you to the TAC lab. Hurry and be careful. Mm -hmm. Are the I know, I saw them. They're gonna break through that door and shoot you. No? I could have uh, someone that was gonna happen. Apparently not. And more medkits? Good. I'm gonna have to fight soon, so I hopefully they give me a gun. Well, I can beat people down. I'd preferably shoot them. Oh, hello. Is that a guy with a flamethrower? Attention all staff! This facility has just come an attack by Black Ops teams under the direct command of Colonel Richard Vanek, who is acting on the orders of the ATC Board of Directors. Their objective is to eliminate evidence which encompasses this entire facility and everything and everyone in it. Only the main entrance is compromised at this point, so evacuate through any of the emergency escape routes. I suggest barricading corridors leading toward any of the main lobbies to buy yourself time. Do not attempt to surrender or you will probably be shot. Genevieve Aristide, President Armacan Technology Corporation. Really, this would get out immediately today. Mm-hmm. He must be monitoring us on the security cameras. Wait, isn't that I think I, I think I just realized I think that's Cortana's voice. That's why I recognize them. So there is a when it's the Good thing they left guns in the middle of everything. Ah, the slow mo. Yeah, I wanted to say. Deep throat. Yeah, I will. So Snakefest is, uh, I don't know. Yeah, it's probably like, uh, what, what's the face of him? Grey Fox in Metal Gear. I was prepared for that to happen. And it didn't really surprise me. But you. Yeah, don't fight a guy in slow mo. Uh, what was I? Grey Fox. Metal Gear. Yeah. Some type of guy who want to help us. I don't know. I can use the medikit. Or something. Ah, that was a waste. At least I s suspect it. Well, the effects are at least good. Still good, the blood and the splattering and all that stuff. Because the guns don't feel as powerful as it did. Well, this gun anyway. Maybe the pistol's better. Let's try it out for a bit. Yeah, 
Yeah, it feels better. It feels a lot better. So then. Ah, oh, we can blow up vending machines in this game. Good. They're all evil. I wonder if... You don't need to unlock any door. There. They're all there. Yo, my everything. Don't worry, I killed them all. And if any more show up, just yell and I'll be back and kill those people too. This is what I do. Oh. So, the game in the power to slow down time. If, uh, yeah, if anyone can do that in real life, it, uh... Would probably be uh, really open there too. Oh no! Stop doing this. Subject so name: Ka Kira Stokes, rank lieutenant. Well, first lieutenant. Submitted by uh, Garrison, MD. Paragon review scores: physical condition non applicable, mental stability non applicable, telesthetic potential non applicable. Subject is not a Harbinger candidate. Military records indicate she is a communications liaison attached to the unit prior to current mission and has worked with the team on multiple occasions previously. Genevieve Aristide has requested we keep her sedated and we get to decide what to do with her. Harbinger status non applicable. Okay, so she can't slow down time. Well, mm, did we? Are you still in there? You're still in there. You could help me. Just give me a direction, or do you want me to use the elevators? No? What have I missed? No? Did I miss something? I probably did. Mm, here? Was there a vent I could climb through or something? No? Well, I could put there, we could get to the TAC lab. I am a bit stumped. Oh, there. Why didn't that show up earlier? Guy with a pistol is taking your entire military team out. I think you need better tactics. See, you're gonna trust me now? No? Oh, well, I get it. I get it! You're a civilian. You haven't seen anyone with a. Don't do that. You're a goddamn flasher, Oma. He just shows up in front of me and just. Poof! Please don't. Please let me out first. Did you... was shutting down? Blow it up. In your mind. Nice try. Oh, you survived. Is that all of you? Okay. Not cool, bro. Not cool. So will there not be any boosters or anything like that? Like in one of the first game? What are you talking about, too easy? Haven't you learned? Never call anyone dead until you see them actually die. That's the first rule of any story. 
Well, I'm dealing with amateurs here. Complete another amateurs. What are you doing over there? It sounds like you're beating someone over the head with something. Probably shooting another innocent doctor. Who is just experimenting on people's DNA and stuff to make super soldiers. I mean, there's nothing evil with that, right? A keycard. Is this going to turn more into... Oh, there you are. Got a flasher woman. Where are you? I want to help. I'm not gonna... Is my character not gonna question? What the hell was he made out of? Sorry, I tried to save you. He just didn't die when I shot him. Oh hey, come on, shotgun. This game has definitely had a massive reduction in uh, gun, well, gun feel. Sorry, I was talking to my audience. But it's not too bad. Well then. I got owned. No, but... Um, yeah, they they don't feel um, they don't feel uh, useless. The guns, they just feel. They just feel a little bit uh, like how to put it. They don't have enough kickback to make them feel powerful. Also, I'm fairly certain that this, that the last game utilized some sort of uh, projectile, uh, projectile system, while this game seems to be uh, hit scan. And let's just say hit scan is never as good. It's a different way. It isn't bad on its own, but. I would almost always pick the projectile system in front of the uh, uh, hit scan. But you know, I'm not even sure that the last game used uh, uh, used projectiles. It just felt like it. <laughs> and uh, well, if this game. It, it might have been hit scan, but if they did, they made it really good. You guys really need better ears. I can hear everything you said. Dr. York, diode implants are still sending current at too high a frequency. Patient immediately ceased. We don't seem to be able to tune the apps finely enough to gain sensitivity without incurring cellular damage. I think we need to look at increasing the viscosity of the medium. Also, what about additional hormones and supplements? Okay. Uh, not sure what uh, you wanted by that, but... Well, good thing the blur is, uh, good thing there's enough blur to not show details on it. Otherwise I have... Why did you do that? This is just gonna start to smell soon. So, elevator.
Oh, yeah, uh, oh, okay.